Hi, I'm Jesse at StroPro.com and today I'm going to be showing you the brand new 36 and 47 inch Rapid Pro Deep Softboxes. So you might be familiar with our best selling Rapid Pro Softboxes. Those are the ones that we have on the website that are super easy to set up. You just slide that shaft down and it locks into place, no rods or anything to assemble. Well, this is our first series, same mechanism, but it's a deep parabolic style. We had our Rapid Deep, which is used with our focus bracket, but these again are the first ones to be in a Rapid Pro style set up just like the other ones. They're super fast. You're just not going to use these with our focus bracket. You would use the Rapid Deep with that. So with all that in mind, let's take a closer look at what's included here. So I'm just going to assemble the 36 here and show you what's all involved with that just because the 47 is the exact same. Um, so first off you're going to get our standard carrying case which is nice. You've got the double zippers there. And inside we've got a few different things. So we've got our inner and outer diffusers. We've got a reflector plate with a screw in there. These are also going to come with our grids just like our beauty dishes do. And then we've got the softbox itself all contained in a nice wrapped up package here. So here we have the Bowens ring installed. This is what's going to come for any of our Strobe Pro lights. If you have Profoto, Alien B, Elenchrom, whatever it might be, you can select that on our drop down on our website and your softbox will already have that installed when it comes to you. So it'll be easier to mount. So we've got one more bonus piece and you might, when you set it up like that, you might feel it drop out. This is the main stem in here, so you do not want to lose that. I'll show you how to install that. Um, basically, we're just going to open our Velcro and it's easier to do this on the ground. I'm just going to move our light away here. And essentially, all we're going to do is open that up so we've got room to put this piece in. So our mounting stem, we're just going to take in and if you can just fit your hand between two of the spokes there, that's just going to go straight in and just get it started and it's going to screw down. It will stop. Okay, that stopped and we're ready now. So on the top here, you're going to see this little button. That button is important when we push down. We need to push that to install it. So all I'm doing with on a flat surface, just take two hands, push straight down. We're going to line it up onto the stem and it's easier if you push the button, it'll go down and lock in. And that's as easy as it is to install this softbox. So just like we installed, this button is also a release. So whenever we're releasing, we've got a little bit of play here. So just push down, push the button in, and then allow it to come back up. We don't want to be um, just popping that and having it fly up on us. So again, to install, push down, that'll lock in, push button in to release. Very simple. So to install the reflector plate and uh, the thumb screw here, just put it through the middle. We're going to just try to line that up and screw that in. One of the benefits of a parabolic softbox is depending on the number of diffusers that you put in, if you've got your inner diffuser, your outer diffuser, you can really control the light and it's a great shaping tool. So if you're going to just shoot this bare with no diffusers, it's going to give you your tightest beam with that reflector plate in there. Um, another benefit of that plate is that it will eliminate a center hotspot for you. So you can really experiment with this. You've got all the options and this piece is included for you to try out. So we've installed the reflector plate. You can leave that in or you can take it out, but we're going to add an extra layer of diffusion. So we're softening this down even more. Um, and this is our inner diffuser. And the best way to install that is take these Velcro tabs, start on one side and it's going to skip every other one. And we're just going to kind of start putting those in really quite straightforward with the Velcro. And what you'll see in the center there is an extra stop of diffusion built right into this inner diffuser. 
And again, what that's designed to do is eliminate those center hot spots that can be caused in a parabolic. So that's already pre-built in, softens it right down for you. So here we have our last layer of diffusion. This is gonna give you the softest look, um, the widest beam angle as well. And this is our cross hatch pattern, same as the inner diffuser. And one thing you wanna make sure when you're installing this is that it's gonna go along the bottom edge of the upper band here. So um, anywhere, you can start anywhere, it doesn't matter. You're gonna kind of feel where these turn. It's a little bit harder to kind of differentiate these compared to like a regular octagon because this thing is basically round. But you can kind of see where it's going and we're gonna install just a couple to get one side started. And if this doesn't look perfect the first time you do it, if you get some gaps like that, don't worry about that. We'll come back around and do that after. So we're gonna do kind of like half of the box here and then just flip to the other side as well. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect right off the bat. We're just trying to get it attached right now. Okay, so once you've got that on there, um, you can go back, you can kind of adjust any holes that you left, or maybe I went a little bit too high over here, so we'll just pull that back down, just lower it a little bit. Again, as long as all the holes are sealed and no light's gonna be leaking through, we're good to go with that. Last but not least, we've got our grid, which is included with these soft boxes. And if you want the soft look of both diffusers in there, but you still wanna be able to control the light, the grid is the option for you. So this guy, we can kind of just open and lay on top there. And what we're gonna do is just kind of what we did before. And we're just gonna go around the end here, at keeping it tight, but pulling it into the corners. And it'll start to take shape as we get around. The grid is also fantastic if you really wanna be able to feather the light. Um, if you're doing some edge lighting or rim lighting, um, it's a great tool for that. Okay, so we've got pretty much everything filled in. You can go fill any gaps again, but basically we're fully installed. So we've got a reflector plate in there. We've got our inner diffuser, our outer diffuser, and our grid. We've used everything that we have included. Um, and you've got the ultimate flexibility in this deep soft box. Okay guys, we've got everything assembled here. Now we just need to mount it to our strobe. Um, again, we've got the Bowens mount here and one of the nice things for mounting this is we've got this flap that will open up here. And the way I install these boxes, I find it the easiest. If I open that up and I can grip the soft box like that with the hand, then what I can do is I can come back behind the light itself, bring this in, and I have no idea where those are mounting. I just turn it till it clicks like that. So once it drops in, I'm giving it a quarter turn, and you hear that click, and now it's secured. And the reason why you come from behind like that is just a lot easier to control, so you're not gonna break the glass out or your flash tubes on the front of your strobe if you're trying to reach across this massive softbox, trying to put it on in the front there. So to take this off, again, we want to have a very firm grip on there. And if you're using like our X-Pro strobe or our 400 or 600M, basically what you can do is support it on the bottom. I've got a solid grip on the top. Release the lever here with my thumb. That's going to allow me to quarter turn and pull straight out. So again, to install, we line up. And then once it's on there, just quarter turn and pull the button to release. 
So guys, if you wanna prolong the life of the materials of your softbox, you don't just wanna come and just start ripping stuff off the side. I see so many people do it. And after time, it just puts extra wear on it. So what you wanna do, find a spot where it's open. And we just wanna start going around and bringing it off rather than just ripping it from back here. It's just gonna prolong the life of your materials. So once we have that off, the inner diffuser and outer diffuser come off the exact same way. Just like that. And then these tabs. Just like that. So take them all off. It'll save you years on your wear and tear of your softbox. Okay guys, so we've shown you how to set up the Rapid Pro 36 inch deep and I've got the 47 inch here. They're both the exact same way. So you've got everything included that you're going to need for ultimate control. We've got our reflector plate, our inner diffuser with that extra stop for eliminating hot spots, our outer diffuser, and we even have the grid included. If you want to take your photography to the next level, experiment with some more advanced lighting techniques that you just can't get with the regular softbox, then the parabolic is really what you want to start trying. Uh, it's affordable, you we can get it for any mount that you want, um, and it's just an all-around great softbox. So check it out at stropro.com, and until next time, I'm Jesse.